Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the fourth grade concept of measuring angles. This is standard 4.7c in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 46 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we have four different angles here measured on protractors. So let's label that. We have protractors here, and these are the tools that we use to measure the space between two lines. Those, these are the angles we're going to measure. Just like we use a ruler to measure length, we use a protractor to measure angles. Now we need to find something that is around or looks like it is 30 degrees. Now. Let's take a look at our three angles here. We've got acute, we've got right, and we've got obtuse, because we can actually eliminate some of these options just by using our knowledge of angles. So a right angle is 90 degrees exactly. And so an acute angle is anything less than 90. So if we know what our right angle looks like here, it's going to be like a square corner right there, then we know that an acute angle is anything less than that, so it's going to be smaller. So we're looking for something less than 90 degrees, and that 30 definitely fits in there. So we're looking for an acute angle because 30 is less than 90. And then, you know, our obtuse is going to be greater than 90 degrees, so it's going to be something big and fat, like a huge angle right there. So we're looking for an acute angle. So right now, G and J are not looking very good. Let's take a look at them. So we're going to start with start with this line right here. And it's on the 0 and the 180 line, depending on which way it's opening. So since this is on the beginning, let's start with the, the outside, because the outside starts with 0. We're going to skip count by 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. See, there's my 90 degrees right there. So that's my square corner. So we're going past that, which means this is an obtuse angle. 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and it's right there between 140 and 160, and that looks like that's 150 degrees. Now, why would anyone pick that? Well, from the inside, what's left, if I were to draw an angle right here, it's 30 degrees from here to whatever is left, but that's not the angle we drew, so it's not going to be G. And then J doesn't start on any zero. So we can just pick inside or outside. Let's pick outside, see what happens. I'm going to start with 30. And 30 goes all the way up to 150 as well. So I'm just going to subtract the two. I'm going to say 150 minus 30, and that gets me 120 degrees. So we have to subtract the two, and that's not really what we needed. If you want, we can start from the inside, but look, it goes from 130 to 150 on the inside. So that's not what we're looking at either, which is fine. We knew it wasn't going to be that. So let's look at F and H. Those are going to be our two best choices. So neither of those start on a zero, but they, they start with a 90. So let's just go ahead and do that because both of them start with a 90. That's going to be helpful. So we've got 90, and let's take the outside here. It goes from 90 all the way up to 150. Once again to that 150. Both of those look like acute angles. So let's do 150 minus 90. It's going to be close. 15 minus 9 is 6. So that's going to be a 60 degree angle. Once again, it's that 30 right there. And if we were to draw an angle from whatever's left to that next zero, that would be a good 30 degree angle. So we're stuck with H. We've got 90, and it doesn't go very far. It only goes to 120. And we subtract that, and yep, 12 minus 9. There we go. That's a nice, tiny 30 degree angle. And if we wanted to look on the inside, we could do the same thing. We can go from 60 up to 90. We would just have to flip the order here. Make 90 our menu end. But either way, inside or outside, the answer is going to be H.